Hey there, my friends. Mr. X Dreams here. Uh, welcome to a first for this channel. Uh, the other day, I went online on Twitter and Instagram, and uh, most of the responses came from Twitter, but I asked for some scary story ideas, right? Like, mainly what I was going at was two-sentence horror story type things, that type of deal. And I didn't really say what I was going to use them for, and I got a lot of responses. Like, um, I was pretty much blown away because normally I don't get that much interaction on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to keep up with this kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got some really good feedback, and you're probably not going to be able to guess what I was planning on doing with that, but you're about to find out. And uh, I may or may not put that in the description, so, you know... Give the video a like, subscribe, share with your friends if you find this thing entertaining. That way um, I'll know if I should do this type of thing again. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, and what I'm actually going to do with these brilliant ideas that people have given me on my Twitter mostly is plug them into an artificial intelligence machine learning program and see what this... this uh, AI system can extrapolate from the seed of your stories that you guys have provided for me. And I'm going to read those stories to you right now in a video. So, if you like this, let me know and I'll keep it going. Because uh, I did one and it looks, like a, it looks like it's going to be a really dope idea. So... Let me know what you guys think. So the first one comes from a gentleman by the name of Big Mike on Twitter. Thanks, Big Mike, for this. And uh, thank you to all of you who submitted stuff. I mean, the, I, I really took the more uh, thoughtful posts to do for this actual video. But everybody was kind of having fun with it. And it was it was a pretty good time. So um, like I said, if you want to join in on that, follow me on Twitter, Mr. X Dreams. All right. So I plug this in. This is a... Uh, AI system or machine learning system called Talk to Transformer. I heard about it a couple months ago and I'm finally starting this now. All right, so you plug it in as a custom prompt and then you click complete text. After a few seconds, it'll generate. So let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna test my, my uh, live reading abilities with this. All right. You awaken on the floor of an abandoned hotel with all exits apparently sealed. Nearby lies a tape recorder with the words, Play Me, written on masking tape. You recognize the tape as having been found in the Vinewood Sign Company's washroom while exploring the house after all this time. You discover a fold-out couch, an easel, and a small painting of a horse on top of the dresser, with traces of red paint on the walkway in the rear of the room. The television shows Valley of Dolls and Roma. Next to the dresser, you find a safe with paperwork from the remaining San Andreas Police Department, the letter from love, or die on top of it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a story for sure. Um, as you can see, this freaking AI has no idea what the heck it's doing. It seems like it's kind of random, but something about it I just, I love. And I got a bunch of these, so buckle up, because some of them, I'm sure, are going to blow our minds. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, the next one comes from Sean, a.k.a. Irish Knights on YouTube. I actually just recorded something for him uh, for a collab, a little, uh, well, a little part for me, but a mega collab on his channel. So go check it out if it's out already. I'm not sure when it's coming out. I had a dream where I opened my window and saw a demonic figure smiling. I awoke, relieved that it was just a dream, when I heard a knock at my window. I quickly got up and opened it to see the stalker waiting for me. I nodded in agreement. From what I knew, rumors of this kind only ended up adding fuel to the fire, but since the person never arrived at the door, 
the fact that it happened wasn't as troublesome as it could have been. A pleasant night's sleep for sure. But what happened to this girl? I once again realized my confusion. I didn't remember her, but that was a feature of this dream. It wasn't part of a constant nightmare. I find this to be fascinating. I don't know about you guys. It's almost like, I mean, if we, if I keep doing this, I feel like the machine learning program is going to get better and better because it's starting to add in little elements that actually seem to match the flow of the initial story. This is crazy. On to the next one. So thanks to Holy Realm for sending in this one. I lay here in the dark, not moving a muscle. I'm afraid that if I move, the thing in the corner is going to move closer. Mother, I'm not ready to die. I don't care, she snarled. Your presence will matter to me. You are more important. In a way, he said. He decided then to stop taking a breath, if only for a moment. Even if he didn't die, there would be a delay between dying and arriving. Then, in the absence of any other source of breathing, he would die, just like everyone else would. He thought of Chara, who would, and we're left to imagine what the, the mind of this brilliant machine learning program would have continued on with this. I wish that this thing would go longer because that was crazy and I love this. I don't know what took me so long to freaking start doing this, but I love it. Let's go. Thanks to Cosmic Clown 27 for this one. I need to change my diet, but I can't find anyone who isn't B+. And that, says Nadeau, is a perfect framing for why lower fat cooking and baking has an advantage over higher fat, higher carb cooking and baking. Because that's just how it's been done for thousands of years, didn't you know that? Note, here Nadeau is working within a limited database of predominantly Asian cuisine. And so these analyses are not directly comparable to a Western diet, just so you know. A high fat diet has long been the best predictor of coronary heart disease with benefits seen within a short amount of time, people who adopt a low-fat diet gradually by around age 30. This lag corresponds with the cardiovascular peak age of blank. Alright, so it took a possible vampire story and turned it into a story about Asian cuisine and heart health. I mean, you might not you might not have known before watching this video uh, and talking to this AI that a high fat diet has been the best predictor of coronary heart disease, but now you know. So you just learned something from an AI. And um, you're welcome. This one's from MM Chan. Thank you, MM Chan. They didn't listen, even when there was a strict order to cremate the dead. The next day, all the graves were empty. The lingering question was, why? Who killed the Valtos? There was another man who had lived there, whom many of the family members came to revere and love. One of the Valtos' daughters, Moira, recently stood for the funeral procession as the priest announced that Valtos had been laid to rest. She held the tombstone that marked the Valtos' last resting place. This was the gravestone the Valtos family requested for Valtos' final resting place. Moira, the daughter. Wow. I sense this. I've never heard the term, the name Valtos before, but, or Valtos before, but sounds like a, a hero. And this, this person just spontaneously was generated in the mind of this AI. 
I don't know about you guys, but this is fascinating. I'm starting to like, I thought I was going to be making fun of this AI, but I don't know. This one comes from Ram Muerto Stories. Thank you, Ram. You woke up to a sunny morning and wanted to open the window to let the fresh air in. You stop when you see the black of space and Saturn's asteroid belt across your front lawn. There is nothing to do, so you decide to venture outside. You make your way over to a building next to your house and sit down to walk. Makes sense. A blue light starts up, then it turns into a red one. You realize that you've awoken a cat, and as you get closer, you see that it is a tiger. The tiger doesn't take very kindly to you and starts to chase you. You decide to stand in a quiet area away from your neighbor, the tiger, and that the tiger is fine until you come back outside. That's when you hear a large blank. Holy crap. What? It looks like you were having an interesting day, and then it went to a terrifying day being chased by a tiger, of all things. And then it's about to get even worse because there's a large something else outside probably waiting to uh, destroy you. So that's a sad day for you, I guess. Next up, we have a limerick from Snuff. Thank you, Snuff. Upon one stormy night, a man woke with a fright. He checked on his wife. She'd been stabbed with a knife, which he held in his hands, oh so tight. People are judged by the content of their words, but the content of your heart isn't what counts. What I see as the epitome of a woman is something you might find in a porn movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't see women in that way. I see a beautiful, intelligent, thoughtful, and disciplined person. Can I put this on YouTube? I see a beautiful, intelligent, thoughtful, disciplined person that put in a year of, in the most beautiful state in America to earn a degree <laughs> and work as a waitress for eight hours a day to pay off her loans. She loved going to school. She loved the classroom. She loved people. She loved being around them. I don't know if it's going to get any better than this, but please stick, stay with me because actually, I'm going to um, I'm going to save that one. Thank you, Snuff, for that. That one was amazing, and uh, that's a high bar right there. That was phenomenal. All right, next, my God. All right. Sinister Dark Soul, thank you for this one. Drip, drip, drip. The leaky faucet needed to be fixed. But does it happen when some object in the hand is caught on the steam? The answer is yes. With tools like Wet Bulb Gasket Pro, <laughs> you can make sure that the air coming in from the faucet won't be sucked up in a single wet bubble. When the leak was still under control, Wet bulb gasket gave the desired result. That's a good product right there. I'm buying this sales pitch right now. So now the leak is con in controllable control. At <laughs> also, it has been taken out of the control and has been filled from an approved source. <laughs> Most likely, you will never have another leak again. Rated 4 out of 5 by Mel from Great For Us. The product works <laughs> as it should. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't write these. I couldn't write these if I wanted to. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take that. I couldn't do this if I wanted to. This is this is gold. How did I not How did I not do this before? Guys. Guys. Please. Thank you Friday for this one. It's so cramped in here. If I knew it would be like this, I would have been cremated. I am so grateful for my family when I was still a boy. I could tell them from my school and my friends, and they would be happy. Now I'm so tired. There's no warmth to be found there. 
I will keep trying to think of how to help. I just want them to know how much I feel, and I'm sorry. Anuma led her chair around the room for, to a video camera where a young girl was explaining her previous life. I will tell you something about myself. I'm similar to my mother in every way. She wanted to learn to become a veterinarian, but she was... What happened to your mother? A young girl who had lived a previous life. You see, it goes from crazy and wacky to like this deep existential past life tragedy of a mother and which obviously, you know, touches me in a different way. Goodness. This, this AI needs to stop playing with my emotions, man. Thank you, Bunny Baby Blue, for this one. There was an incurable substance. It swelled within her fragile form. Slowly, she was consumed by the fire. When the fire was done, and she lay at last in the cold, empty void, the searing light of the burning soul caused her vision to fade, leaving only the faint outline of a burned landscape where the landscape had once been. All efforts to bring fire back had failed. She had lived and she had died. She had watched as the architects of her demise pulled every underwhelming scrap of life from the ruined world. Nothing of the matter was left, just the pain, the blackness. But as she took in the world again, she was shocked. The city she Son of a gun. Do you understand the world that is being constructed here? As a storyteller and somebody who creates and writes stories, I am I'm blown away by this. A simple two sentences, and it created something that actually makes sense and paints a picture. This is freaking insane, and I love this. I think I stumbled upon something. I don't know, maybe I'm not the first person to do this, but if I am, I'm pretty proud of myself because this is freaking amazing. Just just looking at this, it's, it's phenomenal. This one's from Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. After my dad had passed from Alzheimer's, I found his portfolio of drawings he would make while sitting on his favorite chair by the back window. I found one man burying something. I think I found out what happened to the neighbor's wife. I was drawing in another one of my favorite chairs. I guess he just, just tossed that one away. With a little silhouetted skeleton walking by, my dad got me a pencil and a pad of paper, and I began making drawings of the bones. These bones became my family. My mother, Mrs. Helen Bush, Nee Bowen, uh, okay, or Bofin, how do you say that? Was an American model, singer, socialite, and politician. She was married three times and fathered eight children with her first husband, Robert Allen Bush. Okay, so the last names of the parents make sense. Very progressive with uh, obviously some kind of non-binary situation happening with, uh, you know, the, that, that situation. If you look at it, you'll know what I'm talking about. For a second, I thought it was just going to go off the rails, but the, the fascinating thing is the bones became my family. So he found out where the body was buried. He goes and digs it up because he's lost his father maybe the bones of this disappeared woman sort of replaced the father as his family since the father was the one who put them there do you guys understand I think we're going to create the, sing the singularity by continuing to do this and I don't care sorry if we get enslaved by uh, this, this algorithm 
uh, in a couple months, but I've got to see these stories. All right. Don't at me. All right. This one is from Onward Upward. So thank you. I was going through some of my dad's things after he passed, and I came across a diary. Scrawled within the pages were details about some murders that even the police didn't know. The kind of details that spawned a slew of urban legends in my area. As I pulled the diary apart and discovered pages upon pages of drawings of something I couldn't identify, it started to strike me, as I've never quite shaken it off that this same boy might have been the killer. My mind starts over, but the killer was an outcast with a history of abuse, and a local family wasn't prepared to deal with a neighbor who had claimed he had a secret evil obsession. But he was nothing if not a liar. In his explanation of... You see, this... I would have kept reading this for another couple pages if it was available, um, built by Adam King. Adam King, please, please. I'm gonna try to get this to Adam King. And uh, I want more of this. I want more text generated and I want more everything. Please do it, I'm asking you. I'm going to at you and we will talk about this and hopefully some of the other narrators which are coming up. There's I got some big narrators that helped me out with this and submitted something. Guys, we need to get at Adam King and have him expand this. All right. Fingers crossed. This one comes from Josh. Thank you, Josh. The pain racked my body as the small creatures scrambled through the cracks in the shattered glass and bit into my flesh, tearing off pieces at a time. Their beady red eyes, mangled fingers and skeleton-like appearance was the last thing I beheld before everything went black. I'll live up to it tomorrow. Call Chief Webb. Call the UBC officials. We need a new pathos. See you tomorrow, Mr. Richards. I will hold your hand. About ten minutes later, I sat atop the train, waiting for the chief to arrive. The minutes went by slowly as the engine whirred to life as usual. We've had more than enough of this shit. Okay. You turn into... You, you go from... Someone who's being killed and eaten by some kind of ravenous creatures to what seems to be a hard-boiled detective who's getting a bit too old for all this nonsense and I'm here for it. I would watch that movie. Hello there, my friends. Mr. X Dreams editor mode activated. Uh, I realize that this video is becoming really long and it's a uh, a lot of fun, but I wanted to, I didn't want to lose anybody, so I decided to split it up into two parts. I know I had a couple of my narrator friends from YouTube in this video, but all the rest of the submissions were directly from all my narrator buddies over there on uh, Twitter. So my next video is going to be all of the, and you can imagine the twisted weird stuff that they were able to come up with because they're just inundated constantly with all these different types of scary stories. I, I can't wait for you to see what the algorithm did with the stories that people like Mr. Creepypasta, uh, Dr. Creepin, uh, Swamp Dweller, Your Maker, uh, Nightmare Files, a couple of other people as well. Sorry, if I, don't, if I forgot to mention uh, your name, please don't take offense, obviously. I'm, I'm kind of doing this off the top of my head right now. That's going to be the next video, and it's going to be pretty much maybe the, the, the following day or something like that whenever this, this video goes up. Um, some really crazy stuff happened in that one. It's already recorded, but I don't want to overburden you with too much, too much stuff right now. And uh, I might even just put it up, you know, a couple hours later or the next day. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's, it's kind of a beast to edit. So anyway, 
for now, I'll leave you with these stories. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like, uh, share the video. If you saw yourself, your name in there, and you submitted the thank you to everybody who submitted uh, one and two sentence horror stories and things like that. We had a lot of fun on Twitter. If you don't follow me, follow me at Mr. X Dreams on Twitter and Instagram to be a part of these types of things. And please, please, I enjoyed the heck out of this, so I'm probably going to do it again regardless. But um, if you liked it, let me know, and we will explore this this concept a lot more in the future because I find it fascinating and very entertaining for me. I hope you agree. Anyway, my friends, I hope you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself, being safe, and uh, making good decisions. I know it's a crazy time right now. That's why I'm trying to kind of give you guys more stuff to uh, more stuff to listen to, and and hopefully you're having a good time as best as you can. I mean, nobody can really ask you to do anything more than your best. So if you're doing that, you're pretty much good to go in my book. So until next time, my friends, I'm Mr. X, and may your nights be full of dreams.